Hello there, my name is Will. I'm a software developer working as a freelancer and I just wanted to share a little bit of my work progress for one of my personal projects, which I'm actually using as a template for one of my freelance gigs. It is a UWP, Universal Windows Platform, C-sharp um, skeleton code base, which uh, I am basically targeting a 2D game framework written from the metal, C-sharp. Um, utilizing some uh, libraries such as Win2D, which uh, leverages Direct2D prowess, um, Direct2D functionality, in order to deliver fast, smooth um, 2D graphics. So without much further ado, what I decided to do, I mean, I will quickly just show you some of the code base over here. And it came to a point where I realized that if I don't create some form of editor layer as such, or some kind of way to configure my presets, the code base will be very set in stone in direction pertaining to the game that I'll be developing. And I want to keep it very general purpose. So I decided to just go ahead and just kind of create this really rudimentary um, editor layer. So what I can do is actually, what I've, the view of this is to actually script. And it's a very strange scene that you can see right here. Um, I was just experimenting with some things. But the main character is this bunny uh, that you control on the left-hand side. And I'm just experimenting with some um, scroll formats. Um, I have 2.5D, 2D, and HD 2D. And the idea here is that you can configure your presets so that the projection mode, um, you don't have to code it all from scratch. And you can always just configure your presets using the editor layer. And so if I were to um say for example let's see if i've configured it straight off the bat move left and right obviously there are no main physics in place but you can if you look carefully you can see that there's a little bit of um, a kind of a projection kind of pseudo 3d-esque style of um projection in the in the ground plane and it's not really a ground because the bunny's underneath it, but it just kind of um, figur figuratively speaking represents like what the ground would be. So I can actually move the bunny up there so it makes a little bit more sense. I'll just scroll the viewport a little bit so we can just see a little bit more of the scene. So it just appears as if the bunny is running across the ground. If I just move left and right, it would appear that the bunny is actually running across the scene and there's a little bit of a tilt there with the camera uh, with the so-called camera to make it sell the idea that I'm moving left to right in a kind of 2D 3D-esque almost a 2.5D perspective. Now the, with some um, recent should I say success of and popularity of this HD 2D um, graphical art style I thought it'd be fun to kind of um, develop a pseudo 3D um, configuration for as a scroll format so I have here my editor layer this button HD2D and it's actually in debug mode so it just broke to uh, a particular line my debug I set a break point so now my code broke to that point um, just gonna quickly proceed as soon as I can and the projection has sort of changed as you can see I'm just gonna scroll up a little bit on the viewport I'm gonna go in this mode, I actually haven't programmed the the translation of the character on the um, Y plane. It's only X lateral movement on the X on the X plane, basically. So there's no point trying to move the bunny upwards. Nothing, as you'll see, nothing really happens. But when I move left and right, as you can see, it it looks as if I'm rotating the camera because I'm using a, a neat set of blended um, um, transforms. So I have a render pass whereby I am actually, when I'm going left and right, I'm actually in the previous demonstration I just showed you, there was like a three stage pass pipeline whereby I would make individual transforms to the graphic. There was translate, there was, uh, I believe, yaw pitch and roll, so a matrix transform, and there was one more other which I kind of forgot off the top of my head. In this case, I have a uh, matrix transform, um, yaw pitch and roll. I am manipulating the pitch uh, while defaulting the roll to create this kind of um, 
uh, it's almost like a landscape view um, going off into the horizon. And then I am just ever so slightly implementing a roll offset against the pitch so that the overall rotation effect is a little bit more uh, believable. Now, this has not been tested fully, so it probably will break in like the most radical of scenarios. If I keep scrolling, it's probably gonna get a little jarring as you can see there. So I still need to tweak a few things for the rotation to be consistent. But you can see a little bit of my progress there. So I thought it'd be fun to just kind of share and I quite like where I'm going with this uh, engine. Um, so I'm gonna be updating as and when. This is just um, one of my side projects, which I am actually um, um, offering the template on Fiverr. So this is my dashboard on Fiverr, and um, I have a few gigs here. Um, I've dabbled in gigs that are sort of more creative and artistic in style, but I, I mainly anchor the majority of my gigs with technical work. So the templates or the gig that I was referring to when I'm offering the template of my um, project framework is this one here. I will create a 2D game framework project template uh, on UWP. So let me just go ahead and click this. Uh, there's a little bit more information here and I have a little bit more um, some more demonstrations of the parallax engine as you may be able to see this is actually not the parallax engine this is a WPF um, proof of concept that I, I managed to get working and as you can see the camera um, the camera um, algorithm let me just go back a little bit compensates for the translation not only of the main character but you have an NPC character who um, basically is just static and she moves ever so slightly and there's like another NPC or kind of an enemy bot that was meant to be and as this stickman is moving left and right everything moves uniform so that was one thing I had to get into account with the camera algorithm and these challenges are similar to what I'm facing now um, and I'm finding solutions to these particular problems, which is very fun right now. And this is just a little bit more um, video footage of the Parallax engine. This is my UWP one. Um, it's an earlier build of the engine you just saw uh, with some different graphics. And this is an even earlier build, um, really just showing the Parallax scrolling. So thought I'll just give a quick update on some of the work that I am doing. Um, but yeah. More on that as and when. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.